In this video, I'm gonna explain what women actually find attractive. Today, we're gonna to talk about female gaze. What is the female gaze? Guys, I have taken it upon myself to do extensive research. I've dated a lot of women, but as of recent, especially since I've moved to Miami, I have started to talk to more girls. Meaning, like let's say me and a girl is hanging out. I start to ask them questions about my perceptions of, of what I think that women like and to see if I'm correct or not. And a lot of what I've been objectively looking at men and saying, I don't think this works, bro. Women have confirmed to me that, yes, I was correct. So I'm gonna share with you what exactly is female gaze. All right, let's jump right into it. The first thing, having hair versus being bald or low cut. Listen here, baldy. Listen here, peanut head. You with more hair makes you look more youthful. I don't give a fuck what you like, bro. You with more hair is more attractive to women. Guys keep telling me, fit, I like your low cut. Go back to the low cut. Sure, I might have looked clean with the low cut, but I look more handsome, more pretty boyish, more fuck boyish now. I get more compliments now. Women tell me they like me with hair more, but if I was so stupid and subjective, I would have kept the low cut. One thing that I'm always going to be willing to do is to adapt. I'm going to be willing to ex experiment. I'm going to be willing to try hard. Just today, before I made this damn video, this is why I'm making this damn video, I got a new guy that's ju just joined my group, I'm mentorship, and he was like, fit, I'm thinking about cutting my hair. I said, let me see your hair. This motherfucker has long curls that go to his neck, look handsome as hell. He got like, bro, I'm thinking about cutting my hair. Who the fuck told you to do that stupid shit? I'm like, hell no, bro. You lost your damn mind. Don't cut that damn hair. This is how men operate. We think that what we like, we think that easiness, oh, fit, but the hair is long, man. It's harder to maintain, bro. Laziness. Yeah, it's harder to maintain hair. You sure about that? Is it harder to maintain hair or is it harder to maintain a dating life where you got to beg and plead to get on dates, where you got to hit up a thousand girls to get one response. Do you wanna put the effort into yourself to make yourself look good or do you wanna to struggle to get laid? And this doesn't mean that every guy needs long hair. It's not what I'm saying. But a decent haircut where hair is on your head makes you look better when there's no hair on your head, bro. The thing about being bald or low cut is if you don't have perfect facial structure, like there's only a, a handful of dudes that I think have incredible facial structure where like they can do whatever the fuck they want to do with their hair aside from being bald they can have a low cut model like dudes you can't i can't i don't think i have the best facial structure i don't have model like facial looks no so i have to enhance i have to maximize if you don't have unbelievable facial genetics your ass can't afford to rock a low cut when your head shape is going this way and that way i got a big forehead i can't afford to do what I wanna do. So make sure as a man that you're doing what you can do to maximize your looks. And I think having hair is going to make you look better. Look at my face right now, bro. Take your male thinking out the window. Just be objective for a second, right? Objective means opinions and facts. My, my facial structure, does my facial structure look more defined with hair or less defined? Does my forehead look bigger or smaller? You're looking at me, but look at me, man. Does my forehead look bigger or smaller? It looks smaller because I have, I've created an illusion of less space by get, growing down my hair. You don't gotta do what I'm telling you to do, bro. Do whatever you wanna do. You you gotta struggle, not me. You, you can be lazy and not grow out your hair maybe, experiment, see what looks good. Maybe a low, low haircut looks better for you. I'm not saying that every single guy needs a low haircut, but I would say an overwhelming majority of men will probably look better with more hair on their head than less. That's what women find attractive. You don't have to be Troy Palomalu with hair down to your uh, knees, but just more hair will make your facial structure look better, which will make you more appealing to women. Number two, great hygiene versus being feminine. Guys are so lazy that they find every excuse to be lazy. You tell guys, get a manicure and a pedicure every single week, bro, so you can, your hygiene could be clean. Oh man, that's feminine, man. A man getting his nails done is feminine. You're dirty. That ain't no damn feminine. Washing your ass doesn't mean you're feminine, bro. My goodness. Do you wipe your butt? Hey, 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 let me ask you. Because I use wipes to make sure my, my butthole is clean, I'm feminine, right? 
I'm feminine. I'm sure you just you just rock the you just rock the shit. Look, you keep the dookie in your pants. You you masculine, my dog. You got it. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Make sure you are clean. You have good hygiene. You're well groomed. It ain't doing too much. It's doing what is required for you to be the uh, the best version of yourself. You motherfuckers don't want to do anything. What are you talking about? I tell guys, grow out your eyebrows. Oh my gosh, a man that grows out his eye. I can't take advice for a dude that get his eyebrows done. You look like something is wrong with you. You look like you're sick. You don't have no eyebrows. Your eyebrows are thin as hell, which makes you ugly, which makes it harder for you to get laid. I'm the one that's, hey, am I crazy, bro? It's like you motherfuckers don't even like girls. If y'all don't like girls, let me know. I, maybe I came to the wrong side. I don't know, I've gotten all these subscribers teaching dudes that don't even like girls. What's the point of watching me if it's not to get better with women? Why would you want to have no fucking eyebrows, bro? Why would you not want to have full eyebrows that make you more attractive so you get laid? The shit I'm telling you is for you to get laid, not me. I already get ass, bro, if you forgot. Oh, I work on my looks. I know it's, it's rootless out there. I know women don't give a fuck about my struggles. So I'm gonna do whatever, I, whatever it takes to be the best version of myself. You don't have to. Listen, it's very, very acceptable these days to like what you like. If you like men, it's okay. There's no problem, bro. You can like men. But hey, for the guys who are watching me that like women, you gotta do what women like. If you don't like women, no problem. But I ain't gonna have thin ass eyebrows, not wash my ass, not get my nails and feet done to be clean and claim I'm masculine. And then also want girls to like me. Makes no fucking sense. Number three, being lean slash toned versus being bulky like a bodybuilder. This is another reality I had to face, guys. For a large part of my life, I was relying on being bulky swole. I still am swole, but I've gotten a lot leaner over the years. I'm way leaner now than I was two, three years ago. For me before, it was all about mass, mass, mass. Let me try to get big, 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 because I thought that's what women liked. The bodybuilder look, guys, is only appealing to women who like bodybuilders. This is not mean you need to look like a twig, but lean and aesthetic is e it makes you more attractive. And guess what, you lazy motherfuckers? That's actually easier to accomplish. <gasps> finally, you doing less work actually helps you finally. Cause you your ass never gonna look like a bodybuilder. So hey, now you don't have to. It actually makes you more attractive. You can finally do less and get more. Some of you motherfuckers gonna still find an excuse not to at least be lean and toned. Have a decent level of muscle structure. I say, nice big arms, broad shoulders, V taper, nice chest. You good. You don't gotta, you don't gotta look like Ronnie Coleman. You don't gotta have 50 inch biceps. That's attractive to the male kind. It's not attractive to women. You look big and scary. You wanna look sexy. Women want you to look attractive without having to look like you tried so hard. That's what women want. They want you to just be natural. That's what women when say when they say they want a guy to be natural. She wants it to look like you don't try so hard. That you just got it like that. So guess what, buddy? You can finally be lazy, be lean and toned. You don't gotta be a bodybuilder to have a decent physique. Nice chest, big arms, broad shoulders, V taper. Nice abs. That's it. The bodybuilder look only looks good for bodybuilder girls. It looks scary, bro. And that's what I had to tone. I had to get toned myself. I've been doing a lot of walking, trying to get lean. I want to still maintain a nice upper body that's appealing, but I don't want to be looking like, I don't want to not have no neck. Number four, always being well-dressed versus being relaxed and comfortable. Ooh, what do you hear you motherfuckers say all the time? I want to be relaxed. I want to be comfortable. Shut your dumb ass up being comfortable my ass. You always need to be well dressed as a man. Your, your definition of comfortable is putting on some bullshit and walking out the house. Men are so damn lazy. We're so lazy. We're so fucking lazy that we want to put in as little effort as possible but still be accepted. You want to wear grandpa shorts with some sandals and women accept you for the way you are. And then you want a man who put in some effort. He got a nice blazer on, a nice college shirt. He look put together. You want to call him try hard. You want to say that's doing too much. No motherfucker, you're lazy. Why do women pay attention to well-dressed men? Because they look put together. He has status from his fashion. When you look like a bum, when you walking out the house wearing whatever, women ain't batting an eye at you. So in my opinion, you always have to be well-dressed. Whenever you're going out, always nice college shirt, nice button up. 
Nice slacks. I didn't mean go wear a fucking three-piece suit to the damn beach, bro. Fit the occasion. Wherever you're going, you want to look the part. That's what I mean by being well-dressed. Looking well-dressed for where you're going. Number five, being socially confident and charismatic versus being a goofball. Oh, here we go. Guys think charisma means being a jackass. If I crack jokes and make everybody laugh, that means I got charisma, right? No, you don't. You're a goofball. When a woman wants a man to be socially confident, she wants you to have basic social skills. Learn how to com conversate and communicate with people without fidgeting and looking awkward. You can look people in the eye. You can be still. You can be confident. You don't have to be, you don't look socially unaware. Guys will take that as, oh, okay, I got to crack jokes every 30 seconds. I got to fill in the gaps by saying something cool and funny. No, that makes you look try hard. So don't do it. When we talk about charisma, charisma means I am socially confident. I can be in a public setting and have conversations that I keep and maintain with everybody, but I'm not cracking jokes, ha ha ha, hoo hoo ha ha, looking like a clown. That's not what that means. So you can learn how to be socially confident, but you don't gotta be a goofball. I would say if you're the goofball, you're the class clown, women are less inclined to fuck you because she's worried that you will tell everybody. Women wants the man that is socially adept, like he's confident with his with, with his social skills, that she feels safer with him. When she goes out with him, he's not awkward. He's not a weirdo. Not the guy that's ho 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 ho. She's like, damn, this motherfucker loud mouth. If I fuck him, the whole the whole world gonna know. So that's the difference. Social confidence and charisma means socially aware, being able to hold conversations, being non fidgety, not class clown goofball. And number six always striving to be the best version of you versus doing enough to get by women like an ambitious man a lot of you motherfuckers are so lazy that your whole purpose in life is to do enough so you can stop that's what most men want that's why you dumbasses get on monk mode that monk mode is full of fucking dumbasses that think that they're gonna do enough work and they can just quit motherfucker life is on go hard mode forever you need to be going hard forever you gotta be good in all areas of your damn life. Ain't no fucking shortcut. What most men wanna do is do just enough. If I make just enough money and I can take care of myself and live on my couch, I'm good, right? That's why you motherfuckers don't wanna think more. I say six figures is a fucking joke. You like, uh, six figures is a joke. Six figures is, is top 1% in the world. Shut the fuck up. It ain't top 1% of women. Women are comparing you with the, with the most successful men, dumbass. They ain't comparing you with the rest of the world. They want their man to be aiming for more. They want their man to be ambitious. They want their man to be hungry. You motherfuckers want to do just enough. And then you wonder why she'll leave your ass for me. You wonder why if Drake come in town, he'll take your chick. You wonder why your girl will pay Chris Brown a thousand fucking dollars to take a picture. Because you are a nobody. That's why. You don't have no status. Women are hardwired to want the best man but you want to do just enough. You want to do just, how do I just get by? No, they want exceptionalism. And as long as you're striving for that, you will be very attractive to women. You want to do just enough. How can I get in just enough shape to look good? How can I make just enough money to be attractive? Fucking bum. That's why your girl will go pay a thousand dollars to Chris Brown to stand next to him. He grinding on her ass, but she wouldn't even want to go 50 50 with your lame ass. She will pay, women will pay to take a picture with an exceptional man than to split bills with your lame ass. what that tell you, bro? That tell you you, need to, you, can, you can kick your feet up? That tell you you can do just enough? Get the fuck out of here, man. That's male gaze versus female gaze. Do this and you'll be more attractive to women. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'll get back with you guys next time.